Home to half a million people or so. Always busy, always something new. But always cramped and always dirty. And Kibera is the last place you'd want to suffer a medical emergency. This is what your typical road in Kibera looks like. Narrow and not built for cars, with the rainy season making them even more impassable. And that becomes a problem when one is in urgent need of medical care. In most cases, one would have to be carried out by their friends or family to the nearest medical facility. But there is an alternative. In any other setting, this would be a wheelbarrow. Here, thanks to a battery-powered siren and some bedding, it's been turned into a lifesaver. Sincerely speaking, before this uh, wheelbarrow ambulance came on board, what we used to receive was already dead bodies. We could receive already dead on arrival. We could receive people already dead and they would not be able to be resuscitated and therefore we could not do much. Yes, that is before people could die in their houses. This is just a demonstration for the camera. Since the project launched though, hundreds have been saved. Women in labor are frequently the patients and community health volunteers also play a key role. Uh, you find that we have insecurity challenges, especially during the night. So with the wheelbarrow ambulance uh, and uh, several community health volunteers coming together to accompany the uh, expectant mothers at night and those, or those people who get emergencies at night has really been able to, to bring the unity to purpose together. A basic idea. But it saved lives here and transformed others. Another vivid display of practical genius from the streets of Africa's biggest slum. Maria Galang, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.